everyone. Sorry to cut Stevie Wonder, that, but it's a good way to start a res uh, an admitted student day. Aren't you excited? It's the start of a new milestone in your life. All right. Uh, congratulations to all of you for making a very determined decision to look at where you want to go next. Uh, right? Indeed. All right. uh, graduate study is an active process, and you have made a decision to investigate graduate programs, look at uh, curriculum, student body, institutions that may fit where you want to go. And we're just very pleased that you felt that the new school might be the type of community that you'd like to be part of, that you've engaged with us in a certain way that calls to the excitement of learning, but the excitement of learning at the graduate level, and where you'll be deepening your knowledge, broadening the depth of what you may already know, and fostering and building connections, relationships that generally live, uh, continue through a lifetime. I'm Merida Escandon Gasbarro. I'm the director of admission for the schools of public engagement. And that includes the programs in MFA in creative writing, teaching English to speakers of other languages, the policy management and environment programs in the Milano School, the International Affairs Graduate Program uh, with, MAs, with an MA and an MS degree, and, this, and our programs in the School of Media Studies. I'm very thrilled that you're here today. There will be many people throughout the day who are going to welcome you, who are want to greet you and tell you more about what makes this a decisively different institution and a place for graduate study. The first person I'm going to call up to uh, give you her welcome is the Executive Dean of the Schools of Public Engagement, Mary Watson. Well, that was a long walk. Um, thank you, Merida. It's, a, it's my um, deep pleasure to be here and to welcome you all to the New School and to tell you a little bit about the history of the New School um, and um, what we're up to at this moment and then to give you a welcome and introduction to all of your programs. So um, I'm Mary Watson, Executive Dean of the Schools of Public Engagement, um, and I'm also a faculty member at the Milano School. And uh, it's, I just want to start by saying it's a very exciting time to join the new school. Uh, we are celebrating our centennial, so we are 100 years uh, old this year. Um, and in 1919, 100 years ago, we had some very particular kinds of goals about being a different kind of university, and those goals and values carry on to uh, this day. So. In 1919, there were lots of complex global dynamics uh, happening. It was a time of uh, rising nationalism across nations around the world. Uh, it was a time of the um, rise of fascism and other kinds of um, uh, elements in the world that were considered to be um, difficult and, and potentially dangerous and war-inducing. It was a time when there were lots of things that were in revolution and reformation um, and reestablishment. And, at that time, um, uh, a group of scholars left uh, what they called the old school, Columbia University, to found a new school um, here um, to create a different kind of set of principles of higher education. So um, at that time, the faculty at Columbia were asked to sign a loyalty oath agreement to the United States uh, because of the, the rising uh, war effort around the world, um, and those faculty refused. So part of the founding of the new school was the idea about freedom of expression and freedom of speech, um, the protection of um, asylum seekers and refugee scholars, artists and others all around the world, and to create an intellectual home of academic freedom, tolerance, and experimentation. So these principles have always been dear to us. Um, also at the time of the founding of the university, there was a commitment 
to the open access of education, which meant that access to individuals who had not been previously part of higher education was a priority, that lifelong learning was a principle that, um, that would exist, um, and also that scholarship should be active in the world and should be working on real world problems. And so the founders referred to it as activist scholarship, scholarship that actually was uh, working on the pressing issues of the day. And so here we are 100 years later, <clears throat> still working, I'm sorry to say, on some of those pressing global issues, which may sound familiar to you from 1919, um, but also looking not only what we've done over the past 100 years, but at the idea of what the new school will be 100 years looking forward. And so uh, in the fall, um, after the semester begins, in the first week of October, we will have something called the Festival of New, which actually celebrates the things that 100 years have shown at the New School, as well as looks ahead to ask ourselves, what will we look like 100 years from now, and what will the university stand for 100 years from now? This is a, um, a broad and ambitious set of activities, which will take place all day long for a week's period of time, um, and will be open to the wider New York and other communities. So um, we hope that you will join us during that time. Um, and as we look back to the history and the founding principles of the, of the new school, this college that you've been admitted to today is actually uh, the founding college of the university and, and one of five colleges that comprise the current uh, university. So I would argue that, that our college, public engagement, continues to hew the closest to the new school's founding principles, uh, the commitment to lifelong learning, the accessibility of higher education to diverse learners and to be most responsive to the pressing issues of today. And as Merida mentioned, this includes the graduate programs to which you've been admitted, um, which are uh, in the School of Media Studies, the Milano School of Management Policy and Environment, the Julian J. Studley Graduate Programs in International Affairs, the Creative Writing Program, and the Master's Program in Teaching English to Speakers of Other Language. So um, I want to say a few um, highlights about things that have been happening um, in our schools and programs. These are in no means comprehensive, and so whenever one says a few highlights, uh, one is approached afterward, asked why their own highlight was not highlighted. So I, uh, I will head forward uh, with that uh, uh, cautionary note in mind. Um, so a few interesting things that have been happening in the spring that might be of interest to you. Um, we just finished a week in residency with the filmmaker Raoul Peck. Um, made, um, who's made a number of um, films as a noted documentary filmmaker and director, including I Am Not Your Negro, um, which um, was the, based on the life of James Baldwin. So Raul was here for a week. He did master classes for our students across programs. He did a, a panel discussion, a series of events, and it was really a fantastic experience. Um, in our Milano School, in the Urban Policy Program, faculty members Rachel Meltzer and Alex Schwartz, um, I think Rachel is not here today because uh, she's, I think David Hall is here in her place, but um, they just um, co-published co a new book, uh, which is called Policy Analysis is Problem Solving. And this is in the context of last week, the, the urban policy program being named number 11 in the US um, for urban policy programs nationwide. Um, in the creative writing program, Karen Callender is one of our uh, MFA and creative writing alums who have won many awards this year, including the one she won, which is the 2019 Stonewall Book Award from the American Library Association. Also in the creative writing program, Sigrid Nunez won the National Book Award for Fiction this year. Um, so we have a, a, an array of uh, book award winners um, and others in that program. In international affairs, um, we have uh, our, our faculty member Nina Khrushcheva has a new book out called In Putin's Footsteps, which is looking at the issues of the, um, of the empire building and uh, elements going on in that part of the world uh, over a period of time. And um, I think Sakiko Fukudapar is here today. Uh, I'll pronounce this wrong, so I apologize in advance, but Sakiko has just won uh, a major uh, scholarly award, and you'll tell me it's Gravermeyer, but that's not right. Gravermeyer, right? Grohmeyer Award, um, which is, and this sounds very um, bold, so you'll hold Sakiko to account for this, uh, for improving world order. So that sounds like a very large award. She'll be receiving that award on Tuesday. Um, it's a national prize, um, and it's for her book um, and the work that she has done developing indicators for human rights um, in uh, global measurement. 
Um, among some of the other accomplishments, um, Maya Wiley, who's a Senior Vice President for Social Justice and is also a faculty member, the Henry Cohen Professor at the Milano School, just issued a very important school diversity report called Making the Grade, which looks at a sweeping set of um, retrenchments and reimaginations of the um, racial inclusion and diversity initiatives that they're recommending for the 1800 uh, schools in the New York City public school system. Um, in addition to that, we've just had a, um, an MAT cell event on how ES, ESL instructors can promote social justice for refugees. So this highlights the MAT cell program's work with ref refugees and other language learning communities um, in uh, New York City and in other places. So I have many, many other kinds of highlights I could share with you, but I'll stop there for a moment with apologies to those who weren't mentioned. I, I just wanted to give you a, a sort of a taste of the kinds of things our faculty, students, and alumni are doing. Some of these things are extremely exciting, and these are the things that are open to you as you uh, enter the program and uh, move forward to your own graduation. Uh, so, for example, uh, Alexander McBride, who is a graduate from 2017 in the Environmental Policy and Sustainability um, Program, is the Chief Resilience Officer now in Oakland, California. So one of the things she's doing is really advancing resilience in a major urban center. And we have EPSM alums who are doing this in four cities nationwide. Um, we have um, many, many interesting uh, employment placements, but I'll just mention, uh, uh, let's see, Katina Eichelboom, who graduated from the International Affairs Program and has now been named as the next chairman of GroenLinks, which is the green political party in the Netherlands. Uh, I have the MFA in creative writing alum Christopher Beha, who was recently named executive editor of Harper's Magazine. Um, and there are many, many more. So we'll have a list of that information if you'd like to know more about the um, alums of your program and where they have gone, we'd be happy to share that with you. Uh, finally, in my own self-promotion, I'll mention that Sakiko, who I mentioned already, and I are teaching a very interesting course this semester, um, which is called Human Rights in Global Fashion. This is a university-wide course that's looking at the human rights challenges that face the global fashion industry. So we've been bringing in experts from around the university um, and from the outside field to talk about how do we actually address this pressing social problem that really requires a complete industry redesign in order to be able to rebalance, pa rebalance power and change the working conditions. So we have students from undergraduate fashion and from all the programs that are represented in this room here, as well as from programs uh, in other parts of the university. Students that are coming together to try to figure out how to uh, bring their own area and fields of expertise together to uh, work on issues like global fashions, uh, human rights, and supply chain issues. Um, you'll have opportunities to do that as well as other things because the um, the new school, in addition to all the university-wide activities that are available, also is launching this uh, fall a series of graduate minors. And so what the graduate minors are are three course um, uh, groups of courses that you can take as part of any of your degree programs. Um, and they are a way for you to be able to mix and match the different kinds of things that we offer at the new school. So for example, um, you may be a student who's majoring in international affairs, and you may be interested in the three course minor that we have in migration uh, studies. So thinking about migration and refugees might be something that's interesting to you. Um, uh, similarly, um, you may be in the creative writing program and be interested in impact entrepreneurship. A lot of our creative writing folks are launching their own ventures. So there's a three course um, uh, minor in uh, impact entrepreneurship available. There are a number of those that are being launched this fall and more in the spring. Um, they include things like minors in climate impacts, um, minors that are looking at organization change and leadership, minors that are looking at transmedia narrative and digital storytelling, um, and others, which uh, I'm sure will come to me after I sit down. So take a look at the graduate minors on the website and then know that beyond your own program, that as a new school student, you may take courses in almost every program around the university without any prior permission. So you'll also be able to do a design studies minor or take courses at Parsons. You'll be able to take courses in performing arts if those are of interest to you in the Graduate School of Social Science, uh, the New School for Social Research in Anthropology or Economics. Um, there are a lot of opportunities available. 
So just know this, that the real secret about the new school is, uh, is not the great curricular offerings or not the storied history or not the amazing faculty or dare I say not even the amazing administrators or deans around here, but rather, it's rather your colleagues and you. And so um, what we find over and over again is that you know, the new school is a place, but it's also an idea. And people believe that at the new school things are possible that are not possible elsewhere. And students like those in this room that are in our classrooms every day, they come here because they have an idea of something they want to get done, and then they make it so. They make it manifest. So the idea of the new school is actually remade every day by the ideas that you're bringing. So I encourage you to meet the folks sitting next to you today and in the breakout sessions. I encourage you to visit classes so you can get a sense of what it's like to be in class here. And to know that it's a really unique and interesting group of students who are making change every day, not after you graduate, you've already been doing that for a very long time, but actually joining a community of these folks who actually want to catalyze change together. So welcome to the new school and I hope you have a good day. for sharing the excitement of graduate study at schools of public engagement and, and at the new school. The excitement of intellectual curiosity of, of activating that and making that an application of your learning is very much entwined in who we are at the new school. We're about to get uh, started and breaking out into our small groups, but before I do that, there are a number of individuals I, I would ask them to please stand so and turn to the audience so that you are aware of who they are and recognize them. You may have been emailing them a good deal or talking to them on the phone, or you may have had a coffee chat with them, but can I ask the student ambassadors, each one of them who represents our programs, to please stand all right, and just wave at everyone, and you'll be meeting them in your respective program sessions. Um, faculty, and, uh, faculty and directors are also here. If I can ask you just to wave your hands and also just show who you are, all right, if you can. And then I would be remiss if I didn't acknowledge uh, my two other partners in crime in the Office of Admission. Uh, Assist uh, Assistant Director Gabriela Garcia Juarez and Associate Director Carl Ramos. Right. You'll have, uh, in addition to us and the faculty, there will be student financial services here today. Um, so we'll get started in terms of the agenda. The program sessions will run from 1.30 to 2.30. Then I hope you will come back to Tishman Auditorium so you can hear our uh, graduate student panel share with you tips about embarking on graduate study. All right, they'll share about internships, about uh, networking opportunities, as well as transitioning from non-graduate to graduate life. So please join us for that here in Tishman Auditorium. And by the, uh, the end of that panel discussion, you'll be peckish and you'll want to join us for something to drink and something to eat at the reception at Star Foundation. Um, so let me share with you the rooms where you'll be, uh, the agenda is up to date. So if you, have, if you picked up an agenda, all right, uh, let's release, we're mostly in this, we're all entirely in this building. If you are a s admitted student in the School of Media Studies, that MA in Media Studies, the MS or the management uh, certificate in media management, or if you are a doc studies, documentary studies graduate certificate, you will be in rooms 502 and 503. All right. For those of you who are with the admitted students from the Julian J. Studley Graduate Programs in International Affair, please join Sakiko Fukudapar and Phil Acri in room 205. If you're close to the back, you could actually go up the stairs and then turn uh, left to get up to those rooms. For those of you who are in the TESOL program, the Teaching English to Speakers of Other Languages, you will be in room 204. And the Milano School of Policy Ma Management and Environment, the Public and Urban Policy program will be in room 200. The management programs, that includes the organization development, leadership and change, 
the MS in organization development, as well as the nonprofit management, you will be in room 202. And then environmental policy and sustainability management, you will be in room 201. And at some point, all the Milano groups will, will convene in room 200, at about 215 or so. All right. And then I'll see you back here. I hope you enjoy your program sessions. Thank you so much for joining us today for the admitted student event. Ask the questions. All right. We are here to help answer and make you just make a decision about the next step in your life. All right. Have a good afternoon. <laughs>